In the mountains of northern Albania, honor is sometimes prized more highly than life. Here, a centuries-old custom survives, revenge killings. It's been years since Ahmed has left his house. He's paying the price for what his father did. Armit doesn't go to school anymore. Instead, a volunteer teacher visits him frequently. On today's schedule, physics. The house is a sanctuary that the victim's family also respects. Only here is the 18-year-old Armit safe. A teenage life spent in this home, which is effectively a prison. For now, there's no hope for reconciliation other than his own death. But it's a long time since he felt alive anyway. Blood must be repaid with blood. Those are the rules of the so-called kanun. Albania's traditional law with origins in the 15th century. The Kanun provides a parallel system of justice based on honor, guilt, and mercy. It also promotes things like hospitality and loyalty, but it's often distorted, and many still invoke it as an excuse to kill. <laughs> Around 3,000 Albanian families are involved in blood feuds. Since the collapse of communism, at least 10,000 lives have been claimed. The family of Jafer Bruci also once wanted revenge. 90 years ago, his grandfather was killed. The argument was about property, a major source of tension in these parts. Today, Jafer is receiving a visit by a mediator. Pash Gleshi is a member of the National Reconciliation Committee. He's trying to negotiate between the quarrelling families. <laughs> The <laughs> In theory, a civil court would be in charge of the issue, but trust in the justice system is very low. Mediator Pashk is on another mission of reconciliation. Two quarrelling families gather 15 years after one of them killed a man during a fight. The victim's relatives want to end the feud. <laughs> Ma trebuie să fiu bă, 
e falerui shumë sepse që rasti pa prejtu në Japonë në unë se kam dashë këta Hajde e pi dore në të gjithë dy the handshake seals the reconciliation, after which both parties sign a contract. A 15-year-long fight to the death over honor has come to an end, and the family of the killer are finally able to leave their homes without risking their lives. We return to 18-year-old Ahmet. Afraid of being murdered, he cannot work. It is his grandmother who has to provide for the family. Un gjithë natën rrirë ma qëmë të mpa gjumë, se më gjumë. Sa mi pëngjerin, sa mi nderë, sa mi ato të pa dyrë të pa pëngjeris. Kërkëj me me hikë, s'na kanë lënë me e shqitë shpinë, di sa vishin me e bjetë dësha me hikë, me hikë mi qadër, vesh më sërisha të tonë, nuk më lënë hasë një me e shqitë. Nuk më se blej, thot ti, thot se, të ka e punë me mujë, thot të ati ne. E ne, të nga njerë. Se që presim, na nuk e di, asë një lojtarë me punë i shpresim, asë një shpres. Unë e se me vdek të marrin punë, marrin. The Albanian government refuses to recognize there is a problem. Following their recent application for EU membership, they are desperate to project a modern image. But it's estimated that as many as 800 Albanian youngsters are living in isolation because of blood feuds. Prisoners in their own homes.